The French First Republic was a period of political and social upheaval that marked the transition from an absolute monarchy to a democratic republic in France. It lasted from 21 September, 1792, to November 10, 1799, and played a crucial role in shaping modern French history. Here is a detailed overview of the history of the French First Republic. 1. Background, the Enlightenment, the Enlightenment ideas of individual rights, liberty, and equality spread throughout Europe, including France, in the 18th century. These ideas challenged the absolute rule of monarchs and influenced the French Revolution, financial crisis, France faced a severe financial crisis due to extravagant spending by the monarchy, expensive wars, and an outdated taxation system. Attempts to address the crisis led to tensions between the monarchy and the nobility. 2. French Revolution 1789 until 1792, Estates General and National Assembly, in 1789, King Louis V convened the Estates General, a representative body consisting of the clergy, nobility, and commoners. Dissatisfied with their limited influence, the commoners declared themselves the National Assembly, leading to the storming of the Bastille on 14 July, 1789, abolition of feudalism, in August 1789, the National Assembly abolished feudalism. Granting equal rights to all citizens and ending the privileges of the nobility, constitutional monarchy, the National Assembly created a constitutional monarchy in September 1791. Limiting the powers of the king and establishing a legislative assembly, war and radicalization, France declared war on Austria and Prussia in 1792, leading to military defeats and domestic unrest. Radical factions, such as the Jacobins, gained influence, calling for the abolition of the monarchy. 3. The First Republic, 1792 until 1799, overthrow of the monarchy, on 21 September, 1792, the National Convention was established, and France officially became a republic. The monarchy was abolished, and King Louis V was executed in January 1793, reign of terror, the revolutionary government faced internal and external threats, leading to the establishment of the Committee of Public Safety, headed by Maximilien Robespierre. The committee initiated the reign of terror, a period of mass executions and repression to suppress counter-revolutionary elements, the directory, the excesses of the reign of terror led to public dissatisfaction, and in 1795. The directory was established as a new form of government. It consisted of five directors and a two-house legislature, but it faced political instability and economic problems. Rise of Napoleon Bonaparte General Napoleon Bonaparte emerged as a prominent military leader, winning several victories for France. In 1799, he staged a coup d'état, overthrowing the directory and establishing the consulate. 4. End of the First Republic, the consulate, the consulate marked the end of the First Republic and the beginning of Napoleon's rule. Napoleon became the first consul, effectively holding executive power, Napoleonic era, the consulate evolved into the first French Empire in 1804. With Napoleon declaring himself Emperor Napoleon I this marked a transition to a different form of government and the end of the First Republic. The French First Republic played a crucial role in the spread of revolutionary ideals and the transformation of France from a monarchy to a republic. Despite its turbulent and often violent nature, the First Republic set the stage for significant political, social, and institutional changes that would shape French history in the centuries to come. The end of the French monarchy before the establishment of the First Republic was a culmination of several factors and events that unfolded during the French Revolution. Here is a detailed overview of the events leading to the end of the French monarchy. 1. Financial crisis and estates general, financial mismanagement, in the late 18th century, France faced a severe financial crisis. Years of wars, lavish court spending, and a regressive tax system left the government deeply in debt, calling of the estates general, to address the crisis, King Louis V called for a meeting of the estates general. An assembly representing the three estates, the clergy, the nobility, and the commoners. It was the first time the Estates General had been convened since 1614. 2. The French Revolution 1789 until 1792, National Assembly, the Estates General met in May 1789 at Versailles. 
disagreements arose over voting procedures, and on the 17th of June, members of the Third Estate, representing the commoners, declared themselves the National Assembly, asserting their authority to draft a new constitution, storming of the Bastille. Public unrest grew as economic hardship continued, and on the 14th of July, 1789, protesters stormed the Bastille, a symbol of royal authority. This event is often considered the start of the French Revolution, abolition of feudalism. In August 1789, the National Assembly passed the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, which abolished feudalism, granted equal rights to all citizens, and curtailed the power of the monarchy and the nobility. Women's March on Versailles, in October 1789. A large group of Parisian women marched to Versailles to demand bread and the return of the royal family to Paris. The King and Queen, Louise V and Marie Antoinette, were subsequently moved to the Tuileries Palace in Paris. 3. Constitutional Monarchy and Radicalization Constitutional Monarchy, the National Assembly completed the drafting of a new constitution, which was accepted by the King in September 1791. This established a constitutional monarchy, limiting the King's powers and creating a legislative assembly, war and political divisions, France declared war on Austria and Prussia in April 1792. Military defeats and fears of counter-revolutionary activities led to political divisions, with radical factions gaining influence, such as the Jacobins, overthrow of the monarchy, in August 1792. An insurrection in Paris led to the capture of the Tuileries Palace and the suspension of the King's power. The National Convention, which had later established the First Republic, was elected to draft a new constitution. 4. End of the Monarchy, Trial and Execution of Louis V. In January 1793, the National Convention put King Louis V on trial for high treason. He was found guilty and executed by guillotine on 21 January, 1793, Reign of Terror, the execution of the king further polarized political factions. The Committee of Public Safety, led by Maximilien Robespierre, gained control and initiated the Reign of Terror, a period of severe repression and mass executions to suppress counter-revolutionary elements, abolition of the monarchy. On 21 September, 1792, the National Convention abolished the monarchy and declared France a republic, officially ending the reign of the Bourbon monarchy that had lasted for centuries. The end of the French monarchy marked a significant turning point in French history, leading to the establishment of the First Republic and setting the stage for further revolutionary and political changes in the years to come. During the history of the French First Republic, 1792-1799, several leaders emerged who played pivotal roles in shaping the political landscape and guiding the Republic through its tumultuous years. Here are the key leaders of the French First Republic in detail. 1. Georges Danton 1759 until 1794, early activism, Danton was a prominent lawyer and orator who became involved in the French Revolution from its early stages. He advocated for political reforms and was known for his powerful speeches, key role in the revolution, Danton played a crucial role in the overthrow of the monarchy. He was instrumental in organizing the insurrection of the 10th of August, 1792, which led to the fall of the Tuileries Palace and the suspension of the King's Powers, Committee of Public Safety, following the establishment of the First Republic. Danton became a member of the powerful Committee of Public Safety. He initially supported the radical policies implemented during the Reign of Terror, fall and execution. As the Reign of Terror intensified, Danton advocated for a more moderate approach and the end of mass executions. His views clashed with Maximilien Robespierre, and he was accused of counter-revolutionary activities. Danton, along with several of his associates, was arrested, tried, and executed by guillotine in April 1794. 2. Maximilien Robespierre, 1758 until 1794, rise to power, Robespierre was a lawyer and politician who emerged as a leader during the early years of the French Revolution. He was known for his uncompromising stance on Republican principles, advocating for equality and justice, Committee of Public Safety, Robespierre became a prominent member of the Committee of Public Safety, which held executive powers during the Reign of Terror. He played a central role in suppressing counter-revolutionary elements and implementing radical policies, cult of the supreme being, Robespierre promoted the cult of the supreme being as a new state religion, aimed at replacing the Catholic Church. 
He sought to establish a moral and civic society based on virtue and republican values, downfall and execution, as the reign of terror intensified, public sentiment turned against Robespierre's leadership. Accused of being a dictator, he was arrested in July 1794. Robespierre and his supporters were executed on 28 July, 1794, bringing an end to the reign of terror. 3. John Paul Murat 1743 until 1793, Revolutionary Journalism, Murat was a radical journalist and political activist. He used his newspaper, El Ami du Purple, The Friend of the People, to advocate for the rights of the lower classes and incite popular revolt, popular influence, Murat gained immense popularity among the common people of Paris, who saw him as a champion of their rights. He played a significant role in shaping public opinion and mobilizing the masses during the early years of the revolution, radical views. Murat supported radical measures to ensure the success of the revolution and the establishment of the republic. He called for the punishment of counter-revolutionaries and defended the use of violence as a means to achieve revolutionary goals, assassination, Murat's radical views and influence made him a target for those who opposed the revolution. In July 1793, he was assassinated by Charlotte Corday, a Gironding sympathizer who believed that his death would restore political moderation. 4. Napoleon Bonaparte, 1769 until 1821, military leadership, although not directly involved in the initial years of the First Republic, Napoleon Bonaparte rose to prominence as a military general during the Revolutionary Wars. His victories in Italy and Egypt earned him recognition and popularity, coup d'etat and consulate. In 1799, Bonaparte staged a coup d'etat known as the 18 Brumaire, overthrowing the Directory and establishing the consulate. He became the first consul, consolidating his power and eventually leading to the establishment of the First French Empire, Napoleonic Era. As the first consul and later Emperor Napoleon I, Bonaparte implemented numerous reforms, centralizing power, and modernizing France. His rule marked a transition from the First Republic to a more authoritarian regime, legacy, although Napoleon's rise to power occurred after the French First Republic. His influence and leadership shaped the later years of the revolutionary era and had a profound impact on European history. These leaders of the French First Republic, whether through their political activism, radical policies, or military achievements, left a lasting imprint on the course of the revolution and the subsequent history of France.